Seventy percent of Maryland high school, uh, excuse me, uh, Maryland youths are not physically fit to serve in the military. And that's according to a recent report from the Department of Defense. Uh, those kind of numbers are raising concerns, as you might imagine, among the military and local school officials. 11 News Education reporter Tim Sutton joins us here in the studio. Tim, just another facet of the problem of overweight kids. None that appears to be the case. A new report just out from a group called Mission Readiness says it's confident that the battle against childhood obesity can still be won. Recess in some school districts across Maryland has been cut back. A recent military report says close to 80% of students are not getting the recommended hour of daily exercise. A group of retired Navy rear admirals is using the bleak numbers to help make the case for a healthier armed forces. Nearly one quarter, one quarter of young Americans between the ages of 17 to 24 are too overweight to serve. And they believe healthy eating habits start at home, but should also be practiced when students come to school. A place where they should be given more food choices. But with children consuming up to half of their daily calories while at school and out of sight of their parents, schools should be a focal point in the nation's effort to combat childhood obesity. The healthy habits we develop today will become the healthy habits we maintain as adults. This Maryland Middle School student joined the top brass in an effort to make nutrition a priority. It is important for youth to have a voice in the fight against childhood obesity because of youth influence other youth. A voice and a choice of healthier food now showing up on lunch menus across the state. That students like the new lunches and acceptance is growing steadily. And that may serve as a ray of hope for a defense department already spending a billion and a half dollars a year on military related medical costs. Now, the organization Mission Readiness is made up of more than 500 retired admirals, generals, and other retired military leaders. To read the report, you can go to our website. It's there at WBALTV.com. Look for Education Alert. Live in the studio, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right. Thank you, Tim.